All right, hold on to your hats, octopus fans, of which there are many. <laughs> Octopuses are beloved. On to my hat. Hold on to yeah. your metaphorical hat. Anyway, the, the reason you're holding on is because this week we had the brilliant news that an iconic psychology experiment works with octopuses too. And this is the famous rubber hand illusion where you trick someone into thinking a fake hand is their own. Wow, love it. Um, but. It works with a tentacle. That of an is what octopus. we've now. That is what we now know. Right. Um, for, so, for those not familiar, this was first uh, done in the 1990s in people. It's this experiment that showed that you can be fooled into thinking that a fake hand, a rubber hand, is your own. I've always wanted to experience it, but never have. But you, you have, got, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done it? Yeah, I've done oh, it. Really? It's great. It really messes with your mind. Yeah. <laughs> so what what you do is, um, yeah, you're sat at a table and your arm goes under a, a curtain or, or a box mm. and next to it they put a rubber arm that's, you know, matched to your skin tone. That you can see. You're, yeah, that yeah, you, can you can't see, see your arm, it. but you see this fake And arm. what happens is um, someone strokes the fake hand with a brush at the same time that they stroke your real arm that's hidden away. And after a little while, you, you you get this weird transference thing going on in your brain where you, you understand that the fake hand you're looking at is your real hand. And it's really bizarre, isn't it? It is. And it has really important implications for helping people with amputations yeah. um, recognise yeah. their, their limbs. Yeah, yeah, because it's not just a party trick. Um, that people have also looked into it like, can we use this kind of illusion to make us feel like we embody robots, for example? It can also make you feel like you've teleported into another body. Yeah. There have been loads of variations yeah. on it. And now they've done it in octopuses. <laughs> so our reporter, James Woodford, he says that we already knew that some other animals can be fooled by this rubber hand illusion, wow. uh, like mammals, so mice, for example. Uh, but now a team in Japan have found that you can also trick octopuses this way too. They carried out the experiment with captive octopuses that were each given a fake arm or tentacle uh, made out of a soft gel. And then they used uh, like an opaque partition to block their view of, of one of their real arms. Yeah. So then they did basically what you guys have, have done. They used plastic calipers to stroke both the fake and the hidden real arm. And then they moved to pinch the fake arm with tweezers. So it's a bit like sometimes in the rubber hand, yeah. they make you feel like it's your hand and then they they, they bash it bash with, a, it with yeah, a hammer and yeah. you, you freak out even yeah. though you're not actually in pain. And the octopuses did similar. When uh, they, the arm was sort of aggressively jabbed, the fake arm was aggressively jabbed. The octopuses then kind of reacted with a variety Squirted of like defense <laughs> responses. It doesn't say anything about ink, but uh, some of them changed colour. Some of them like rapidly retracted their arm and some, some of them just got out of there. I, I have to applaud the biologists here for what they've done. Can, can you imagine trying to set this experiment up? I mean, it must be bad enough with a mouse, almost. I can't imagine how they'd done it yeah. with mice. But an octopus, so you've got to do it underwater and get an octopus to leave its tentacle somewhere yeah. while it, you put a... Hide it. Uh, yeah, yeah, while you put up. a fake tentacle there. <laughs> I mean, how, how did they manage to do that? So how did they know, though, that, um, you know, the octopus thought that the fake arm, you know, that was embodied, yeah. had embodied the fake arm. Yeah, so arm. they did various controls. So they did the same test without first doing this kind of important step of simultaneously stroking yeah. both the fake yeah, one yeah. And, the, and then it didn't work. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It just really suggests that, well, uh, that the octopuses have a, a body image. Yeah. Like, like, uh, like we do. Yeah, this um, feeling of embodiment. Yeah. And I guess you think of how good they are at... Um, adapting themselves to their environment, mm. like camouflaging themselves, they can do and they can mimic a whole range of different things, like in shape as mm. well as colour. I always think of the floating coconut one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they've got, so they have an, an amazing self awareness. Yeah. So perhaps it's not surprising that they can do that. Yes, although I was a bit surprised because we always talk about them having in their tentacles these mini brains, right? They have this sort of uh, more distributed nervous system. Mm. So I thought perhaps if they have these mini brains in each of their tentacles, they'd be less susceptible to an illusion like this. Yeah, I thought exactly the same. And, and then I, I guess I think maybe, you know, the central brain has the eyes and that's what's being fooled by the illusion in this yeah. point. And, and so, you know, the central brain is still, is still the central brain yeah. and, and has to process this illusion and so maybe that's why it, it happens yeah but amazing stuff <laughs> <laughs>